Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tats, and today I'm going to cover another fortress for a scribe and inscription. This one we are pretty familiar with. That's right, the scribe, known as P03, used to be on our side. That's right, it is the stoat. The stoat is the scribe, the robotic scribe. You saw him transform over the course of the first segment, so this one was kind of obvious, but it was clarified after we beat the Scribe of the Beast last segment. So here it is. We're going to show his fortress. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's pretty quick. It's pretty easy. If you're bad at math like I am, you may struggle just a little bit, but first you'll approach the Stoat to start the storyline. He's going to say, oh, your deck doesn't synergize. So you're going to need to go around and do some tasks, fight his underlings, and then you'll get the right to fight this Scribe. So let's get into how to do that. Once you're done talking to the scribe, walk through the door you see me here and we're going to get started. Now to advance through this, we're going to have to solve some puzzles. So you're going to walk up to these square items with poles attached. They're going to be mathematical problems, which I'm not going to lie, I suck at. So you're in luck. I'm going to show all the solutions on screen. So I struggled, so you didn't have to. Pretty simple. Make a total of one. And that's how these are basically going to be. Simple addition and subtraction. Again, I'm terrible with math. So you're going to see the next one up there. Now there are two boxes to get cards in. They're going to be on the second segment there. They're going to be the boxes with the blue lights in the upper left hand corner. Corner. make sure you grab those and get the packs from there in here you're going to get a lot of the robotic cards i'm still using the cards of the dead i find them to be the best but at this point you should have a lot of cards and mix and match them how you want next up you're going to talk to the worker right here and yes it is going to be a duel these are pretty easy don't stress them too much let me know down in the comments what deck and or cards you are using i'm very curious to see the different combinations so take care of that and then we'll move on And just like that, another foe is defeated. Now, before you leave this room, make sure you hit the two boxes before you go into the next room. They have the blue light in the upper left-hand corner. They will both contain packs of techno cards. Grab these if you want to use them and add them to your deck. So, let's move on to the puzzle I struggled with the most. All right, moving on to the next room and our next fight. Hit this puzzle right here. This one is very straightforward and easy. Yes, I don't like math, but I didn't understand this one. So the next one is going to be the super tricky one. I solved it, so you don't have to, or if you're still struggling on it. So you're going to go up to the next puzzle box. I'm going to show you what it starts out like, and then I'm going to skip to what the answer is, because I'm not going to lie, it took me longer than it should have. So here are the cards. When you come back, you will see the solution. All right, we're back. Yes, again, it took me far longer than I should have to solve this puzzle. I do not like math. Math makes me break out in hives. So if you want to make fun of me down in the comments, please go ahead and let me know what an idiot I am that I couldn't solve this puzzle. But here are the answers. That's going to make the bridge drop, and we're going to walk up to our flame friend here, known as the Melter. He's going to be our next battle. Take him on, and then we'll progress further. This one was pretty easy as well. Again, if you are using different decks, let me know down in the comments. I want to know what cards you are using, what specific builds are you using to even maybe one shot in some of these bosses so let me know all right hopefully you've made it past the melter he's gonna offer himself up to the great robotic scribe aka the stout who was still a weasel i did like the funny poked at the scribe of the beast in the last segment so we're gonna do this and then there's gonna be two more puzzles i'm not gonna lie the next two are pretty easy so we're gonna go through his dialogue here let me know down in the comments if you really like this game what your favorite boss fight has been so far or what your favorite card is me personally from the first segment i like the god mantis that card is absolutely amazing so you're gonna see me come over here again Let's show you the solutions on screen and then we'll get into the next part.
All right, hopefully this guide has helped you so far. We're gonna get into the last room before we have earned the right to fight the scribe. Now, we're gonna talk to our friend down here at the bottom operating the claw, but first, you're gonna go up to the top of the screen. You're gonna notice cubes again with blue lights in the top left-hand corner. Open them up for more packs. Again, keep adding. You're gonna find a lot of different combinations in this game. Find what works for you. I've said that a lot, but I cannot stress it enough. So this fight is going to be really, really different in the sense that you don't have to do much. It kind of reminds me of the fight from Spider-Man 2 back on the PS2. Mysterio. Mysterio? I think it's Mysterio is the boss of the glass hat or whatever. Shows up at the convenience store and then you punch him once and then the fight's over. So simply talk to him. He's going to start the duel and then he's going to realize that he can't take his eyes off his work. And then there we go. That's it. It's time to go uh, confront the scribe and get that fight going. See, I wasn't lying when I said it'd just be the, one of the easiest fights of the game. It's too busy to work. I can understand that. So we're going to go back up. Again, make sure you hit those containers for those packs. Again, we're going to go back upstairs, but we're not going to confront the scribe just yet. Instead, if you go to the next room, you will find the trainer again. Now, if you didn't know, during the fights, if you do the over damage like you did in, in the first segment with the gold teeth, you can earn foils. And foils can be used to trade for better cards with the trader. So make sure you're stomping in there and speaking to them to get better cards for your deck. You can either buy them in the singles or the pack, depending on how many foils you have. So spend wisely. And that is how we get to the right to fight the scribe, formerly known as the stoat. So, if these videos are helping you, let me know down in the comments below, throw a like to the video, turn on the bell for notifications if you don't want to miss any further inscription content, I will be covering a lot more. Be sure to follow me on Twitch at iGodsTats, and I will see you in the next game. Have a good day.